Right, today we're going to look at finding the nth term rule for a sequence. I'm then going to show you something that you can use the nth term rule for, which you may at some point be asked to do. Okay, so for the first example, I have a sequence here, and it goes 3 to 9 to 15 and then to 21. If they ask me to find the next three terms, I would need to work out how much it's going up by and then just add it on three times. Okay, so let's have a look at that. It goes up from three up to nine. So I think if you do nine take away three, you'll figure out that that's a plus six. And then if we go from nine to 15, how much do I need to add on? Well, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, sorry, 15. So that's plus 6 as well. And then to go from 15 to 21, well, that's plus 6. So to get the next term, I would just need to add 6. So add 6 to 21, and we get 27. Add 6 to 27, we get 33. Add 6 to 33, we get 39. So finding the next three terms is pretty straightforward. But to find a rule that goes um, from, ter well, to find a particular rule for this sequence, we use this plus 6. Okay? And what we do is we, we use a bit of algebra. So because it's called the nth term rule, we use n. So I can have a name for this sequence, um, and we call it the n term rule. So we take this difference, however much it goes up by, and that's the number that goes in front of n. So it's 6 times n, whichever the term, uh, the sequence number is. We have our first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term. Okay, and we can use this rule to actually find any of these terms. So we've got the number that goes in front of n, but sometimes we have to add or subtract something after the sequence, okay, after the 6n bit. So what we do is we take this difference that we've been using, this plus 6, and we go back to the very first term in our sequence, and if this is a plus, we use a minus instead. If this is a minus, we use a plus instead. And what we do, instead of adding 6, we take off 6 from the first term. Okay? So 3 take away 6, count down from 3, so start from 3, so 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Minus 3 is where we finish. Okay, and this number that we've worked out is the bit that we add or subtract. Because it's a minus 3, then we take off 3. And that <coughs> is your nth term rule. Now, why do we work out an nth term rule? Well, let's have a look at these terms that we've worked out before. Okay, or that we've got in our sequence. So 3, 9, 15, 21, 27, 33, 39. Let's look at where these terms lie. This is my first term. This is my second term. This is my third term. This is my fourth term. This is my fifth term, sixth term, seventh term. And it goes on. This sequence could be never ending. Okay, now if I just wanted to work out one of these terms, I would take the say I wanted to work out this sixth term. I know it's 33, but I could use this sequence, this nth term rule, to work out this 33 in this sequence. So I take the 6 and I take the rule. And instead of having n here, I do 6 lots of 6. So the sixth term is, and we know it's 33, so let's just check this. The sixth term is um, 6 times 6 take away 3. Now well, let's just see whether that is 33. 6 times 6, that's 6 squared, uh, so 6 times 6 is 36. 36 take off 3 is 33. 
So yes, it tells me using this rule, I've worked out that the sixth term is 33. And that's what this rule does for you. Okay, and that's why we sometimes work it out. So on top of this, they might set you a slightly harder question. They might say, find the 25th term. Okay, so we can use our nth term rule. Remember, to find the sixth term, we just did a replacement of the n, a substitution of 6. So to find the 25th term, we do a substitution of 25. So 6 times 25. Don't forget the minus 3. Right, so I've got to work out what 6 times 25. Well, let's do that grid method. 6 times 20 and 5 makes 25. And this is going to be a times. Okay. 6 times 2 is 12, with 1 0 in the 20. 6 times 5 is 30. So I now I need to add these two together. 120 plus 30 equals, I've got 0, 2 plus 3 is 5, and the 1. So that's 150. So 6 times 25 is 150. Take off 3. Take 3 away from 150, we get 147. So the 25th term is 147. Okay, so we try and work out the nth term rule whenever we need to find a bigger term. You could, if you wanted to, write out this sequence up to the 25th term, but cool, it could be possible that you're going to make a mistake at some stage. So I always recommend you try and work out this nth term rule. So let's have a look at this second example. To find the nth term rule, we first look for the difference, how much it's going up or down by. Remember last time it went up by 6. So let's have a look at this next term. It goes from 11 to 8. So 10, 9, 8. So that goes down by 3. 8 to 5, 7, 6, 5. That goes down by 3. 5 to 2, 4, 3, 2. So that goes down by 3. So this difference each time in each sequence is minus 3. So we put the minus 3 in front of the n. Okay. Minus 3n. But then we need to work out the bit we add or subtract. So we take this minus 3 and we turn it into a plus 3. And we add it to this first term. 11 plus 3 is 14. That's a plus 14. So this is going to be plus 14. And that's your nth term rule. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you to work out a particular term in the sequence. Remember, we can use this, seek this nth term rule to work out that term, just like we did last time for the 25th term. So, find the 43rd term in the sequence. Okay, so we've got to take our n, replace it by 43. But, so this is minus 3 times n, so instead it becomes minus 3 times 43. So we get minus 3 times by 43. Don't forget the plus 14. And that's a calculation we just now need to work out. Now, if you can remember with negative numbers, a minus times a plus will make a minus. Okay, so let's do our grid method. Minus 3 times by 40 and 3. So that makes 43. So 3 times 4 is 12, 1 0 in the 40, a minus times a plus makes a minus, 3 times 3 is 9, a minus times a plus makes a minus, so I've got minus 120 minus 9.
Well, if I keep taking off 9 from a minus 120, I get to minus 129. So I've got minus 129 for this bit over here, and then I need to add 14. So minus 129 plus 14 equals, well, let's just count up 14 from minus 129. So I'll do this with my hands. So minus 128, minus 127, minus 126, minus 125, minus 124, minus 123, minus 122, minus 121, minus 120, minus 119, and then I've got to do four more. Minus 118, 117, 116, 115. So the answer is minus 150. Right, I hope that helps. Um, like I say, this finding the 43rd term bit is quite difficult sometimes. So you might want to just focus on finding the next few terms and working out the sequence, okay, in both ways. And then if you think you really want to test yourself, go to try and work out these. Um, finding a particular term in AC.